Saddlebags. It's the lovely term we use to describe the area of fat on the outer part of your upper thighs right below your hips. It kind of looks like the saddlebags being carried on a horse, hence the name. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. Saddlebags are a common problem area for both men and women. They're not only unsightly, but they can make finding clothes that fit quite a challenge. In fact, getting rid of saddlebags is a very difficult thing to do, but it's also not impossible. And in today's video, we'll tell you the best exercises that'll transform your saddlebags in just three weeks. From Russian twists, sidekicks, squats, grasshoppers, to curtsy lunges, and more. Watch until the end to find out about all of them. Number one, strength training. Increasing overall muscle tissue is important if you want to lose your saddlebags. This is because muscle speeds up the resting metabolic rate and burns more calories than fat. It's recommended that you do strength training exercises at least two days a week. Use free weights and weight machines for resistance or use soup cans, water-filled bottles, or your own body weight as an affordable alternative for a home workout. Perform at least three sets of eight to 12 repetitions. To avoid plateau, increase the weight when the last repetition of each set is not challenging anymore. What's your favorite strength training exercise? Let us know quickly in the comment section below. Number two, Russian twists. Russian twists are an excellent exercise to incorporate into your workout routine if you're struggling with those love handles and saddlebags. Russian twists will work your oblique muscles and you don't need any equipment for this effective exercise. Sit on your sit bones and lift your feet from the floor keeping your knees bent. Elongate and straighten your spine at a 45 degree angle from the floor, creating a V-shape with your torso and thighs. Reach your arms straight out in front, interlacing your fingers and clasping your hands together. Use your abdominals to twist to the right, then back to the center, then to the left. This is one repetition. Do two to three sets of eight to 16 repetitions. Number three, weighted side bends. Apart from targeting saddlebags, weighted side bends will make your sides burn in the best possible way. Try this exercise with a challenging but reasonable weight to tone your obliques and blast those love handles. All the flexing and contraction should come through your side and obliques. Choose a pair of weighted dumbbells, kettlebells, or plates you can lift with some strain. Stand with your feet hip width apart, holding your weights down by your side. Begin by bending sideways to your right, keeping your weight close to your body. Squeeze your obliques as you bend and feel the stretch on your left side as you move the weight down toward the side of your knee. Pause, then return to the starting position. Next, bend to the left side. This completes one rep. Repeat this sequence for a total of 10 to 12 reps. Complete three sets. Number four, side kicks. Inspired by traditional martial arts movements, side kicks help to prevent your hips and glutes from becoming wide. It's also a great way to get rid of those stubborn saddlebags. Start on all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Keep the knees bent 90 degrees. Lift the right leg until it's parallel to the floor. Keep the right thigh still as you straighten your right knee, kicking your leg out to the side. Don't let the leg lower as you kick it. Bend the knee back to 90 degrees and then lower the leg. This completes one rep. Number five, warrior pose. This pose strengthens your thighs and butt to keep you balanced and aligned. This is an isometric exercise, meaning you hold still. However, even if you don't move, you can feel your muscles engage and struggle to get stronger. Stand straight up. Now spread your legs wide apart. Turn your left foot out to face the left side of the mat. The other feet will turn inward to make a 45 degree angle. Twist your body to the left completely. Now go forward on your left knee, making a 90 degree angle. Make sure that your knee doesn't cross over the toe. Let the other leg stretch properly. Now go into namaste position. Taking your arms above your head, look up, arch your back a bit and stretch. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat on the other side. Number six, squats. Squats can be really helpful for saddlebags. It won't make your fat just disappear, but it will help your butt look perky and toned. It'll also speed up your resting metabolic rate. The faster your metabolism is, the faster your body will burn through the calories and you'll be less likely to store fat. Stand facing forward with your chest up. Place your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Extend your hands straight out in front of you to help keep your balance. Bend at your knees and hips, sticking your butt out like you're sitting on an imaginary chair. Keep your chest lifted and your spine neutral and do not let your lower back round. Squat down as low as you can, keeping your head and chest lifted. Keep your knees over your ankles and press your weight back into your heels. Keep your body tight 
and push through your heels to bring yourself back to the starting position. This is one rep. Start with three sets of 10 and then add more reps as you get used to the motion. Focus on your form and then worry about progressing. Number seven, curtsy lunge. The curtsy lunge is a lunge variation that'll train your glutes and tone those saddlebags. Here's how you can do it. Stand with your feet together and your spine tall. Step back and across with one foot as you begin to lunge straight down. Go through the movement slowly and create a mind-muscle connection by concentrating on the other thigh as you go through the exercise. Keep your chest up throughout the movement. Do 12 to 15 repetitions on each side. If it's too easy, feel free to hold a dumbbell at your chest. Number eight, grasshopper. The grasshopper is a Pilates move that targets and strengthens the glutes. This move tones and sculpts your posterior chain muscles, lengthens the hamstrings, and helps prevent lower back pain and injuries. Lie face down on the floor with your neck in alignment so that your forehead rests on your crossed arms. Brace your core muscles by contracting as if someone were about to punch you in your tummy. Contract your butt muscles and lift your legs six to eight inches off the ground, keeping them separated. Bring your feet toward each other and press them together, squeezing with your butt and inner thigh muscles. Open your feet back to the starting position. That's one rep. Repeat this movement, keeping your feet up for a total of 20 reps. Rest for 30 seconds, then repeat two more times for a total of three sets. Number nine, side plank hip abduction. When you do this exercise, your outer thigh muscles pull your legs away from the center of your body. This plays an important role in keeping your knee and hip joints stable. Lie on your left side and place your forearm under you to support your body weight. Place your right hand on your hips, and then raise your right leg in the air. Exhale during this portion of the exercise. Hold for two seconds, then lower your right leg until it's on top of your left. Inhale during this portion of the exercise. Complete the desired number of reps, then switch to your right and do the same for the desired number of reps. Alternate both sides for reps. Number 10, the bridge pose. This particular exercise works on your glutes and your hamstring. It strengthens your hamstrings and will make the area below it stronger, resulting in tighter saddlebags. Get on the ground with a yoga mat. Make an even adjustment of your legs and hips. Just make yourself comfortable. Now, lift your hips up from the ground. Hold your hips up for five to 10 seconds, then release it back. Holding your hips in the air will bring constant pressure over that area and it'll increase your blood flow. Do this bridge pose exercise three sets for 12 repetitions each. Number 11, knee to elbow standing crunches. Knee to elbow standing crunches help target that difficult fat that gathers in your love handles and saddlebags. When done correctly, you should feel this exercise on your sides. Standing with your hands behind your head with your elbows wide, lift your right knee as you twist to the right, pulling your abs towards your spine. Lower your right leg to complete one rep. Switch sides, bringing your left knee up and twisting to the left. Are saddlebags a problem for you? Which exercise would you prefer from this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.